Are you interested in a security system but feel intimidated by the costs? A security system with a video recorder and four cameras can easily cost upwards of $1,000. But what if you only need one or two cameras? I'm Jaden from XLR Security, and in this video, I'm going to explore the possibility of installing security cameras using just the micro SD card, as well as some limitations you can run into without using an NVR. And finally, I'm going to talk about why you should only buy the endurance rated micro SDs. An NVR functions a bit like the brain of a security camera system. It stores memory and controls important functions. And in most situations, it also supplies power to the cameras. So when we take the NVR out of the equation and we run the camera in standalone mode, what functions and features do we lose access to? Well, to answer this question, I've got with me a Uniview 5 megapixel Color Hunter camera. This camera comes with intelligent features, allowing it to send you a notification when it detects a person or vehicle. It also has IP67 weather rating for use in heavy rain or snow, as well as a small rubber gasket that protects any micro SD card from water damage. For the cards themselves, here are the limitations that we experienced. First, there's a greater risk of losing data. Without an NVR, you're relying on a tiny chip the size of your finger to keep all of the data safe. This little chip needs to be kept outdoors and withstand constant temperature changes between day and night, as well as between summer and winter. An NVR, which is usually kept indoors, stores all the video on the hard drive. You can also hide the NVR in a lockbox or in the drop ceiling to keep it safe from theft or vandalism. Basically, your footage is much safer inside of the NVR than it is in the micro SD card slot of your camera. When you're recording footage onto a micro SD card slot, make sure that you set the time correctly, otherwise it will be difficult or impossible to find the recording from the previous day. An NVR will typically have this set up correctly from the factory, but with a standalone camera, you have to dive into the settings and make sure that everything's done correctly. Thankfully, it's easier than ever to set the time on your cameras using the Uniview Link app, but please don't forget this important step of setting the time. You also need to set the recording mode in the storage settings of the camera. You can set it to either manual recording, which is 24 seven or alarm recording. With an NVR, again, most of these settings are done automatically, which makes it a little bit more involved if you have a standalone camera with the micro SD card. The NVR is typically the main power source for your security cameras, since the majority of NVRs have PoE ports on them. Without an NVR, you need to either purchase a 12 volt power adapter for your camera, or you need to buy a small PoE switch, which will reduce the cost savings of not buying the NVR. Of course, if you already have a PoE switch lying around, that's perfect, you don't need to buy one, but most people don't. Another limitation of not using an NVR, at least with the Uniview cameras, is that you will not see the thumbnail when you're checking your notifications on the app. This thumbnail is really important as it lets you check at a glance if there's someone trespassing onto your property or simply it's a delivery driver dropping off your package. With the camera in standalone mode with the SD card, you still receive notifications, but the thumbnail is not there since this information is actually stored on the NVR. This won't matter for some people, but for others, it can definitely be a deal breaker. Also, when viewing playback on a standalone camera, only one user can view the camera at the same time. So if you try to view playback at the same time as somebody else, you get an error message, no video found. Other than these issues, the experience of adding a camera to the Uniview Link app and viewing it online is pretty much the same as it is with an NVR. You can still set up and receive notifications, set up cross line and intrusion zones, and adjust all the other camera settings through the app. Without an NVR, you'll need to install a micro SD card inside your camera if you want to record footage. You could use the camera without the SD card, but then you can only see the camera's view live. But if you're someone who wants to view playback on your camera, well then what type of micro SD card should you choose? 
Well, there are two important factors to consider. First, you need to choose a card with enough storage to suit your requirements. A 256 gigabyte card can record for about one week using a four megapixel camera or about five days with an eight megapixel camera. And if that's not enough, you should go with a 512 gigabyte card for double the storage capacity. The second factor, and this is extremely important, is to choose a micro SD card with a high endurance rating. Every micro SD card has a limited amount of data that it can write before the memory cells are worn out and have difficulty with storing the data. And when this happens, the card becomes corrupted and so will all your video footage. So if you want to reliably view and download footage from your camera in the future, make sure you get a card with high endurance. I recommend either the Samsung Pro Endurance or SanDisk High Endurance models, as they tend to give you the best value for your dollar. There's also the SanDisk Max Endurance, which claims it can record for up to 13 years, but it's also twice as much as the other options, so you're definitely paying a premium for that reliability. These high endurance cards are also designed to operate in cold temperatures of minus 25 degrees Celsius and have improved shock resistance compared to regular micro SD cards, allowing them to work smoothly for years at a time. Don't be like someone that I know who bought the cheapest micro SD card they could find and then two years later when their vehicle was stolen from their driveway, they tried to download the footage but they could only go back for six hours despite the camera saying that they had a week of recording. That's because all their footage got corrupted when they tried to save a few dollars on the cheapest micro SD card. So hopefully we can all learn from their mistake and only choose high endurance cards. If you're looking to install one or two security cameras around the house, then it makes sense to skip a video recorder and record the footage directly onto a micro SD card inserted into the camera. However, if you need multiple people to view the system at the same time, or you want thumbnails along with the notifications, then you should definitely consider purchasing an NVR as well and a high quality surveillance hard drive. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more expert security advice. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.